Good morning, it's turned out nice again. Mother, for, it's uh, Thursday, the 24th of December 2020. Christmas Eve, ho, ho, ho. And you're watching Cop Talk, that TV. All right, just another fat fucker that wants to empty his sack tonight. Right, guys, how's it going? You all right? So, we're going to talk today uh, about a former Valencia and Real Madrid defender called Ezequiel Garay. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Uh, he was mentioned with us uh, about a month ago, I think, and he's been mentioned with us again. Uh, back in uh, November, I can't remember specifically the date, I think it was probably towards the end of uh, November, um, there was a suggestion that Gary had been, uh, <laughs> who remembers Only Fools and Horses, the episode with Gary, do you remember that? No, probably not. The French lad that came up, the man, Gary. Uh, <coughs> Gary had uh, been offered to us, that was a suggestion, uh, he'd been offered to us and um, Barcelona, uh, a free agent, 34 years of age, been, out, uh, been without a club since leaving Valencia at the end of last season, uh, very experienced player, centre-back, um, uh, and obviously you can see why he would be, uh, be offered to us, you know, his agent probably putting forward that suggestion. Um, he, uh, like I say, he's 34 years of age, centre-back, Argentina international, caps 30, um, 32 times. He played for the under-23s, under-17s as well. Uh, he started out his career at Newell's Old Boys, Racing Santander, Real Madrid, loan back with Racing Santander, Benfica, um, Zenit St. Petersburg, and then Valencia for uh, four years. And uh, he's, he's seen as, you know, quite a, a decent player. Obviously, he's a, a veteran. Um, and uh, the most notable thing probably is uh, of recently uh, is that he became the first La Liga player to test positive for COVID-19. Now, you see, you won't get that on Sky Sports, would you guys? You know what I'm saying? Um, and the, basically, the suggestions are, again, you know, that this is uh, still, still possible. Now, um, the reason that I'm mentioning this to you today is obviously... You know the Spanish media are as bad as the the British tabloids when it comes to uh, when it comes to, to transfer speculation, uh, but the uh, the Spanish media with this one are making really big claims. They they actually really think it's going to happen. So we obviously see players linked every day of the week with Liverpool. We take it with a pinch of salt, uh, but over here in Spain they're like that. Yeah, he's going to Liverpool. You know they're convinced he's going to Liverpool. Um, Obviously, Liverpool at the moment are being linked with multiple uh, centre backs. We discussed um, a kid yesterday on the Cop Talk podcast. Uh, I'm not sure if I did a video. I think I did a video. I did a video about it on here yesterday, didn't I? Uh, Sven Botman. Yes, I did a video on here. I knew I knew I'd discussed it on the podcast. That's one to keep an eye on. We've got the usual suspects like Ben White, Upper Meccano, etc., etc. Now, if you're not aware. The suggestion or the feeling uh, around Anfield is that, uh, and it, this has been the case for a few weeks now, is that Liverpool uh, are very close or were very close a few weeks ago, because there's been nothing said since then, um, to uh, securing a deal for what you would say was the, a primary target. You know, someone that they'd been working on for, you know, they'd been planning for several transfer windows ahead, if that makes sense. And not someone that they're looking at bringing in in January because of you know uh, injury problems or things like that. So a long-term priority transfer target. It was claimed a few weeks back that Liverpool were close to uh, securing that player in the summer. Now there's been no there's no um, credible suggestions as to who that is. I was thinking, you know, when people ask me, I keep saying, well, I think it might be that Upper Meccano, you know, but maybe that's more wishful thinking than anything. Uh, we've seen the speculation with uh, Ben White like this, up and down one minute, he's linked with us, and next he's not. There were suggestions that Liverpool were maybe, um, that not Liverpool, that the boss was maybe concerned about one element of his game, and that's why that we maybe didn't go for him in the summer, um, because he wanted to see how, he, how his game progressed in the top flight. And uh, there were suggestions, of course, that in the summer that no, 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 Liverpool didn't go in for him because he was too expensive. Well, 
if he was too expensive in the summer, he then goes on and becomes more experienced and a better player in the top flight, then his fee goes up even more. So I don't think it was uh, specifically relating to the uh, the financial side of things. Um, I don't know what your opinions are with the centre-back thing, whether you expect us to make a move for anybody in January. Do let me know. Um, but basically, I just wanted to single out this Ezekiel Gare. Gare. Um, because he keeps being mentioned to us. And the, the the Spanish media here, they're they're like they're saying that this is gonna happen now. Whether it is or not, I don't know. I have no Twitter ITK, no Twitter Twitter out like that. Um he joined Valencia in two thousand and sixteen for twenty million euros. Um in February twenty twenty, he's after suffering a cruciate ligament injury to his right knee. Uh, which would sideline him for six months he has to be released so that another player in his position could be signed. Um, so, you know, he's a veteran, he's available on a free. You can imagine Liverpool uh, doing something like that, I think. I think you can imagine Liverpool doing something like that. Um, but, who fucking knows? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not awake yet, guys. It's, uh, it's early in the morning. It's Christmas Eve. I uh, thought I'd do a bit of um, bit of catching up in my office. I banged my head. See that there? You probably can't tell that. There's only a little thing. I let into bin this morning. I fucking banged my head on a cupboard, man. Fucking furious. What a fucking stupid thing to do. It might knock some sense into me. So let's, for argument's sake, say that Liverpool are close or were close or are close. You know, going by information that's several weeks old now. To sign in that target in the summer, you know, to, to secure an agreement for a player in the summer, you would think, wouldn't you, that they would then try and bring him in in January? But then that can complicate things in terms of uh, valuations. And are clubs going to really going to release their players in January mid-season? And if they are, they're going to want even more money. Now, if it was up in Meccano and there is a release clause in, say, June, July, whenever it is June, um, in your Liverpool Football Club, are you really going to? Like when you know you can get that play for a set price at the end of the season, really going to pay 10, 15, 20 million pound more in January? Probably not. So then that leaves Liverpool in a position where they then say, right, do we go and get another big gun centre back? Highly unlikely, you would think, wouldn't you? Because you've got Virgil van Dijk, and if they're bringing in this new, uh, you know, long term centre back target in the summer, there's two centre backs, and then you'd be bringing in another one of the same sort of standing i don't think that would make sense so if they were going to do something in, in january with regards to center back you'd be thinking maybe not so much a youngster maybe a youngster but then you haven't got the experience and we've got youngsters um uh but maybe you might be looking at something like this and go well that's you know a decent little squad player that could be uh, could be brought in on a short short term deal um, that would offer us experience and uh, and cover, and then once everyone's fit, they're still there to be used in the cup competitions or whatever. Uh, you know, you maybe just bring them in on a year deal or something like that. So, I don't know. I want the reason I'm mentioning this one, like I say, is it was mentioned, it was linked with us in November, um, and not just a link. It was bold claims that were being made. Then you know, he's being offered to Liverpool. That's not unusual. Think about how many players get offered to Liverpool from agents, etc especially when they're out of contract. However, uh, in the last 24 hours, stuff here in Spain is saying agreement's done. They're, they're basically saying it's in the bag. Now, I'm not saying that. They're saying that, okay? And I just wanted to bring that to your attention in case you see his name mentioned any, anywhere. Um, it's Gary, G-A-R-A-Y, okay? And um, yeah, keep an eye on it. That's it, I just wanted to, uh, to mention that one. I thought it was worthy of a mention. Uh, I'm going to wake up and carry on uh, with my cup of tea. And uh, I'm watching this uh, murder trial at the moment um, on uh, Court TV. Parents dismembered murder trial. Well, I tell you what, guys. Okay, if you've got Sky TV, put 179 on. Drop in any time during the day and you'll see what I'm talking about. The suggestion is he cut his mother's hands off. Right? Killed his dad and his mum. Right? Cut her hands off and then used them to scratches and that on the dad to make it look like they'd had a big fight and it had all gone wrong into a big murder scene. oh fucking hell absolute fucking weirdo check gilly as fuck check it out guys right i'm off um 
we'll see if there's anything to talk about. I did a, a Cop Talk podcast yesterday, you know, the usual places where you can get it if you're not sure. If I can just look up Cop Talk podcast on Twitter or Facebook, it's on Deezer, Spotify, Google, any pocket fucking thing, Apple, whatever, uh, any podcast app. Uh, and I did say yesterday, that's it now, you know, for a few days. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kick back for a few days. So, um, <clears throat> But here I am. Do you know what I mean? So I'm not going to do any videos, uh, but but here I am. So I don't I don't think I'll do a podcast today. But you never know. The reason why I mean I'm, I'll be working today and tomorrow in here as usual anyway. Uh, I think Christmas is one of the best times for the website because it enables me to catch up on a few things. Um, but I just think that people are busy with families and stuff like that, you know. Um, so uh, I don't think anybody will be listening. Probably won't be watching. So anyway. I'll get off. Have a good one. I'm going to make a, a video uh, wishing everyone a Merry Christmas anyway, because uh, I'm nice like that.